Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Drew. I'm just on Graber. Just on Graber. Google me, bitch. So uh, first and foremost, we want to tell you that the army will find every opportunity to f you in the ass. F you in the ass is mean f you in the ass with its huge great big green weenie. Well, I don't know if this video will now be monetized, but we're gonna try <laughs> to have this monetized. We wanted to make a video sort of just to kind of have like a sit down and talk about like the first time. Yeah, it's sort of a story time pretty much and talk about the first time that or maybe the first few times that we've gotten in trouble. We got in smoke. Uh, in our days, it was called smoke. Uh, some of you remember it as caping. Some of you remember it, it as a stressful it moment. Yeah. No, it, and some of you know it now as corrective action. Corrective action. And in our days, it was called smoking. And mm -hmm. when you smoke somebody is when you take their life, their soul. Not their life, but more their soul. This video is sponsored by Brady. Shadow Legends. Brady! Are you looking for champions? Battle! Are you looking for tough bosses? Dungeons! Are you looking for millions? And millions in the arena! Are people around the world will has an abundance of challenges that'll have you fighting against kings and dark wizards. You'll uncover betrayal, curses, and prophecies, and you'll leave me more than 12 factions. Finally, I'm level 40! Doom Tower, here I come! If you don't believe me, then check the link in the description and download Raid into your phone, tablets, or computers. Raid has 16 different factions, such as orcs, dwarves, undead hordes, and many more. If you scroll to the index screen, you can find them all there. Each faction is made of many unique champions. And last month, Raid just released their biggest ever update. The main event is the Doom Tower. It's the giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. And if you're looking to get a head start in Raid, then go ahead and check out the link in the description and you'll get, if you're a new player, a free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, XP booster, an energy refill, and even an ancient shard as soon as you get in the game. Really? Really, Ray? You're gonna give all new players all that stuff? I'm this reward is only available within the next 30 days and only if you're a new player. It's messed up, right? So go ahead. Why don't you, why don't you boost Go ahead and level check 40. out the link I in the description right now and take advantage Ray. of the benefits Ray, we have available for you. You own that for a certain period of time. Completely only. embarrass them in front of the rest yeah. of the people. Yeah. And, and it was, Make everybody else hate yeah. you because you're responsible for yeah. everybody else doing push ups too. Yeah, and it was over the actions of what you done that, that caused that smoking session. So for me, the first time I got smoked in the military, so a bit of context, I was an MP uh, in the Army. He I was, was infantry! He was, uh, he was a paper pusher in the Army. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the Army. Uh, and, uh, and I guess for me, the first time I got smoked was, uh, was over a negligent discharge. I kind of... Uh, let one really? go. Yeah. That's the first one. Oh, that was, was that in basic? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. I was yeah. going to say, you never got smoked in basic? Yeah, I got I that mean, was in basic. If you're going to have a negligent discharge, have it in basic training. Because, yeah. you know, that's yeah. where you're going to have it. And you'd be surprised how many people in their contract, when they go contracting, they actually have negligent discharges. Or just how but many they have it in the range, though. In the military that's too. like, in the range, we had like a clearing barrel. And I guess that's the place to do it. But in contracting world, that's like a big no go. And they send you back home immediately to get retrained. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. rightful. The first I remember my first time was in basic because all right, so in the infantry they they make you say all these weird things like why is the why is the sky blue? Because God loves the in infantry and like okay. the, the, why why is the grass green? And then we have to chant blood 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 makes the grass grow green. That's... So we do that chant and that yeah. right at the end I, I raise my hand. And the drill sergeant's like yeah private grabber because that's what they call me because they mispronounce my last name as a grabber. But if it was grabber there'd be two B's not one B. The E makes the A and A not an A. <laughs> Sound. So my name is Graber. Um, anyway, besides the point, uh, I raised my hand. Drill sergeant's like, "Yeah, private grabber. What do you What do you got to say?" I'm like, uh, "I learned in, in high school that chlorophyll chlor chlorophyll makes the, the grass grow green. It's not blood. Blood's probably not the reason." And I, I had to do push-ups, and then everybody else had to do push-ups while I watched them do push-ups. It was it was bad. The second time I got smoked, I didn't get smoked once in the reserves. <laughs> not one time in the. Re in, in fact, I actually yelled at my captain in the reserves because I had no money. It's like I need I need a job. Give me an IRR. 
<laughs> and uh, and the captain actually got me on IR, but before he could sign the paperwork, he ended up dying on a PT run. For those of you who think you can't die on a PT run, he died because he pushed himself too hard on a PT. That's no, that's what true story. Yeah, his heart. Holy fucking, shit! His man. heart stopped. That's fucking terrible, dude's like that's terrifying, ain't it? <laughs> it's like, damn, ten minutes thirty seven seconds, man. You did really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll happen when you're running. <laughs> he, he hey, you all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he died on a PT run, and I never got that IRR position. Oh but I did promote myself, and I used him as... Yeah, he promoted me. It was him. Yourself. Yeah, yeah, I oh, kind of wow. promoted myself. And uh, besides that, uh, the second time I got in trouble was in Iraq. I had left the magazine at the clearing barrel in Iraq. It was, it was one of the... You know how you get used to, like, clearing your weapon? You start doing tricks with it. Like, you, you rack it back your fucking rifle with a bullet pops up and you catch it and it becomes like a one swish moment wait <laughs> no I you never, never did that you never, no. were you trying trying to train to be on the the fucking <laughs> tuna unknown soldier listen we were going out so often that it was just like a like a <laughs> <laughs> it, it became that for me at the clearing right. barrel one day i was just so fucking tired i left my magazine my nco smoked me it wasn't fun for him because i was just doing it very lazily like i just didn't feel like getting smoked and i was just taking my time with that like, come on man make it fun yeah. then we ended up getting motor and, I had, and then it became like crawling drills. <laughs> I had the opposite uh, of experience. I had a good squad leader. I, while we were in Iraq, I left my, I think my Kevlar out on, on the guard tower. And we were, <laughs> we got back from guard and we were doing like, uh, like after to make sure you have all your gear and shit like that. And I didn't have mine. I went to my squad, squad leader. I was like, Sergeant G, I fucked up, man. And he was like, come with me right now. We hopped in the fucking, in a Humvee, drove out there, got, he like ran up the fucking stairs. He was like, hey, I need this. <laughs> took it down gave it to me he's like never fucking do that again we made it back before we were we were done doing the, the <laughs> after inspection or whatever and the uh, platoon star was like oh yeah graver's on graver square way he's got all his shit he always does <laughs> and i did because my squad leader took care of me same squad leader that told us to go kill everybody you know it, it, it was, <laughs> But he was he was a, he was a good leader. It, it's funny because my soldier maybe did, not. You know. My soldier did that one time. She left her her all her gear at uh, at the at the gate where she was checking IDs, and one of the one of the DA cops was like, "Hey, uh, so somebody left their gear here." I was like, "Well, I know it wasn't one of my soldiers because my soldiers are squared away. They would never." <laughs> Oh, ever shit. you ever done oh, it? No, like, yeah. you no, never happened. do that my soldiers are like the top of the army top quality oh, soldiers they would never do that he goes who's your soldier like private johnson and i forgot what the other one was called <laughs> shitty nto right i forgot the other one but no, no, no. <laughs> private johnson he goes private johnson huh? <laughs> yeah i know she would never do that she squared away he goes well, tell Private Johnson I need to speak to her real quick. I need to speak with you right after. <laughs> hey, what's up? I grabbed their gear and I told her, you know, I was at the gate and I was having a conversation with one of the gate guards. And I was like, you know, my soldiers would never do this. And guess whose guess who's, uh, gear that was? She looks at me and she goes, Oh, fuck, man. Dude, dude, uh, I, have a, I have a similar so story, only it's worse because it turned out to be me. I didn't smoke I just, her because she was yeah. a girl. I know a lot of people are going to get mad I just, at that. I just ruined it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, dude. Fucking, I, uh, when I was on the PSD team, we had two females. Yeah. One was in my squad, and like all everybody fucked up. Like My, my fucking team leaders left their one of their MATVs, MATVs yeah. unlocked. I, I saw it, I got everybody but the female. <laughs> Smoked everybody but the female. Because I didn't want, I don't know. They, 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 the times like, were changing, you yeah. know, no IG complaints. It's like, sorry, I'm not, I'm not smoking any females. Because you kind of know that what you have prepared, they're just not going to survive. So, you know what, guys? Start pushing. Yeah, alright. So, uh, I'm, I'm in Nashville. <laughs> I'm in Nashville, Tennessee for a three-day weekend. Uh, it's the first of the three-day week, or it's like Saturday, and I'm DDing for all my buddies, and we get a call. Everyone's called back because there's a set of nods myth missing, and I'm like, fuck, man. So, like, I mean, I wasn't drinking anyway, so I had to drive back, but, like, we were going to spend the night in Nashville, like, try to pick up some girls or whatever, and we're driving back, and the whole time I'm like, fucking, what idiot would fucking, someone try to seal nods like they're going to figure out who the fuck it was, blah, blah, blah. I get back to, to the unit, back to the barracks, and everyone's like, I'm walking to my room, everyone's like staring at me, giving me the fucking like screw face in me. You mother, you're the biggest shit bag ever. And I'm like, well, why is everyone looking at me like this, man? What the fuck's going on? I get to my room, my room's open, and my closet's open, and my my uh, my flak vest is like laying on the ground. 
from from my closet. It was brought out and like just thrown on the ground and instantly I put two and two together. I'm like, oh fuck, it was me. Well, they should have did 100%, like I got I got an article 15 for this, which is fucked up. They should, cause they should have gave an article 15 to also to the armor. Return my weapon, I got my weapons card back for my nods. I thought that possibly didn't take them out, but my nods are still tied down to my FLC. I get back to the barracks, you know, put all my shit away, not, not realizing, not noticing any of this shit. The first sergeant pulls me aside, fucking he's like, he's like, yeah, I could tell you weren't trying to steal them and pawn them or whatever because they were tied down. You probably just made a fucking mistake, but you're still getting a fucking Article 15 for this. I never brought it up to anybody, never tried to stick up for myself. They slapped me with like, what, seven days extra duty. They were like, you're, this isn't going to get away in the way of you getting promoted because I was, I was a square away fucking individual. That's why I play high speed in all of our fucking... All of our sketches because I was high speed. Then no I got a feel great for telling my commander she got orangutan titties. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Did she have orangutan titties? I mean, I think so. I, I've never seen them. <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, but yeah, I thought she she had orangutan titties. What was funny about it is that the person reading what I said was a female sergeant major. She was like, <laughs> and it was hard not to break. I didn't break. I was like, hmm. but it was. She was like, and and you know that for the cause that your your commander has a thyroid problem doesn't dismiss the fact she got the orangutan titties. I feel like it was fact. You're just telling. Just, you know, you're I just, just saying a fact. You know, it's like yeah. saying like you look good in your uniform today. You know, I just, that's not that's not sexual harassment. I didn't like her from the get. I just didn't like this lady. She she break like chain of command rules where it's like, yo, just don't talk to my privates. Let's use the chain of command here. If you got something to say, just go down. You get a platoon sergeant, first sergeant, young yeah, first sergeant, platoon sergeant, squad leader, team leaders, and we'll go that we'll go that direct line of communication. Just stay away from being buddy buddies with my privates. I don't I don't like that. I was coming from a unit that was real squared away, and she just didn't do. Fuck about that, and she used to do, and I just didn't like her for it. So I, I, there was like one time I just, I just made a statement. I said she got, a, she got orangutan titties. And, and I told off a major. Um, it was, it was in Afghanistan. I was on, I was on the PSD team for Generals Terry Bannister Dahl at, in 10th Mountain Division, and we weren't supposed to drive our MATVs in between the chews. There was more than enough room to do it, and we were like late for, um, for a mission that we had to take. I think General Terry on. And I'm like, fuck it, we need, because we had to go pick somebody up. I'm like, we're just going to take the fucking Matt V's. We're driving the Matt, two Matt V's through the fucking containerized housing units. And I, I hop out to go get one of my soldiers. And this major comes walking up, female. Females don't belong in the military. No, they, they're fine. But she's like. She, I, I know some pretty badass females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one was just like trying to correct me for the sake of correcting me. She's like, what are you doing? You can't be here, blah. You can't have your MATVs. I'm driving through. I was like, ma'am, ma'am, who the fuck are you? And she was like. I was like, well, I'm Staff Sergeant Graber, okay? And I work directly for General Terry. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Get the fuck out of my way. And I went and got my fucking, I got my soldier, brought him in the MATV, got in. She's like watching me and I just, we drove off and I stared her down the whole way. Like no, nothing, ha nev nothing ever happened to me. I, it was weird. I shouldn't have done that. Like that was, that was a, totally a no-go to like just tr name drop General Terry's name like that. But I was like, I work, I work directly for General Terry. You got a problem with me? Take it out with him. Take it over the general, major. <laughs> there are some badass females in the military, oh, yeah, just yeah. an FYI. Yeah, yeah. And then, like my homegirl Bo took a sniper shot to the back and kept fighting. Oh yeah. You, you gotta respect shit like that. You take a whole sniper shot to the fucking back and still fight. Yeah. Give her props for that. I had a female soldier named Taylor. When I got to the unit at Fort Drum, she was a specialist and I was a PFC because I was just getting out of a court martial and you know re re being retained in the military. Um, and then I got sent home early from my last appointment for reasons I don't want to discuss right now. But um, sent home early. She was on rear D, and I, I was at that point a staff sergeant, and she was still a special. And the whole time I was in this unit, I seen a soldier bounce around from different company, different company, uh, different leader, different leader, and she was like, she was known as a shitbag. Everybody thought she was a shitbag. But when I got back and she was assigned to me, acting commander was a sergeant first class. He was like, hey man, good luck with good luck with this fucking soldier. Ha ha, you're gonna have fun here on rear D. I was like, man, and I was already like in a bad situation and I know I kind of knew her situation of being like pinned as like, oh, you're the shitbag. Um, so I pulled her aside and I was like, why did you join the military? Like, what's your reason? She, she told me reasons and at this point they were they just implemented if you're a specialist promotable and don't make points for so many months you're automatically getting kicked out so i was like do you want to get kicked out and she's like no so i was like do everything i fucking tell you to do you're gonna start fucking studying for the board you're gonna do all this fucking shit or she wasn't promotable she wasn't even promotable at that point 
Um, and in like two months, I she did a complete 180 because I told her, I was like, you know, everyone thinks you're a shit bag, right? And she was like, yes, yes, sir, I do. And I was like, well, let's prove them all wrong. And then we did. Like two months later, I took her to the board. She passed the board. One of the uh, first sergeants was in the unit the same amount of time, time that I was, and he, he pulled me aside afterwards and was like, we need more fucking leadership like you in the military. And then I got out. Oh, it my, felt good. It felt good. It felt good. It felt good. I was like, oh, I'm doing my job. And then I, and then I got out. That you, kind of, you kind of know who's the shit bags in the military. Like you kind of, you kind of get a hunch on people and you kind of know who you should surround yourself with. Like that, like trouble will, will, will gravitate towards trouble and you'll know, like you always spot people. It doesn't, it's not very hard to know, okay, I should probably stay away from this dude. Mm -hmm. Like you'll always know who you need to stay away from. It's not something where the you- leaders just, too, so some leaders The leaders too. And the leaders too. You're going to, you're going to know like... who are your shit bag leaders in the military. You're going to, and sometimes you got to deal with them. Yeah. And sometimes, you know. You just it, learn, you learn what not to do from those leaders yeah. and you implement that towards your leadership and how, how you're gonna yeah. like square like your don't, people. Sometimes don't be afraid to speak up, but don't try to pariah yourself in, in the platoon either where it's like- You gotta pick like your fights. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick, your, <laughs> pick, pick the fights yeah, you know yeah. you're gonna win. Yeah. You know, there, was one, there was one time there was a, we were escorting a major and I was young Private Hernandez and shit. Major comes out, fucking salutes me and I'm, I, I got a weapon. I don't need to salute this guy. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> swear to God, I did that. They they brought me back to the, everyone saw that. Everyone, these guys are gonna salute the fucking. I think he was like he wasn't a major. I think he was like a general, like a like a major general. And, <laughs> and I just gave him the whole. I swear to God, I, I was at the door. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, they called me back to the provost marshal real quick, mm -hmm. like within two minutes of that dude going inside. Hey, uh, one, two, uh, come back to the station real quick. Go back. He was like, did you really not salute the major general? And I was just like, yeah, I have a weapon. I don't have to salute anyone. That's like a rule. He goes, yeah, don't, don't pick that fight. You're, mm. you're not going to win that one. All right. So, uh, just here on out, give him a good old salute. It doesn't hurt you. I was like, all right, if you don't want me to follow the rules, fine. I won't, you know, I'll just salute everyone. I mean, I got a weapon, so yeah, sure. Are, hold on, are you gonna send me to fucking court martial if I salute an officer and he gets shot by the enemy because I just I just showed the enemy who the officer was and they want to take out their leadership first? Is that what's gonna happen to like, me? Like, yeah, we're in Germany, the Nazis are gone. I think we're fine. There might be more Nazis. Have you seen, have you seen hunters? They're all <laughs> over the place. They're still here, they're hiding. We're in hiding. <laughs> All right, so we just want to take this moment and talk a little bit about stories and shit like that. We can um, go on forever, but yeah, we can go on forever. We won't have more we won't. We want to, time to do. We want to spread these out, so like butter, you know, like garlic butter. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next week.